Hey guys, this is Diane here from Design Creative and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a sticky navigation for your Headway site. Now you may not know what I mean by sticky navigation, so let me show you. This is a demo site of a theme that one of my viewers sent me and he wanted to know how can he get his navigation to do this, okay? So as we scroll down, you can see that the navigation that has gotten stuck to the top and the logo has gotten much smaller and it kind of sits on this black background and it sort of just hovers there on the top right so you can get to wherever you need to get to really quickly so I'm going to show you how to do this in Headway and it's extremely easy. You only need to know how to install a plugin and how to follow this YouTube uh, tutorial so I will see you on the other side. Okay, so here is my rendition of that website. As you can see, this one is much better than the other one. So here on the top, we have um, a picture, we have our navigation, and we have some random text um, that I just literally copied and pasted in there, okay? <clears throat> And as you can see, as I scroll, we do not have that beautiful kind of sticking to the top motion going on. Nothing really is happening. It's just going straight past. So we want to make this navigation stick to the top with our logo going smaller. We want to change the background to a different color as well. So it makes it a little bit, you know, less in your face. Um, but easy enough that it's going to stick, to stick to the top and our plugin will do that for us. The plugin that I'm talking about is one called sticky menu okay uh, it's called sticky menu on scroll it's a really great plugin I've been using it for a couple of weeks now and everyone keeps asking me how do I get that kind of look and this is a plugin that I always recommend it is super easy to use you literally just install it then you go to settings sticky menu and here it sort of tells you or asks you what element do you want to stick I'm gonna keep it where it says navbar you really don't need to mess around with any of these settings unless you really want to you know tune in and do some really super things like you can uh you can change the space between the top of the page you can do all types of things here but i usually just keep everything as default and then press save settings and that's all you need to do with this plugin the next thing you need to do is go to the back of your headway site now i'm going to show you how i've structured everything because i'm not actually going to get my menu to stick to the top i'm going to get this whole wrapper to stick to the top because i need the logo to be in it as well okay so I have a wrapper on the top that has an image box in there. I have another wrapper down below that has the logo and the navigation in there. And then I have another wrapper underneath that that has all my text in there. So what I wanna do is allocate this, low, um, this wrapper here, right click, open wrapper options, make sure that pops up. And here where it says mirroring and config, I always say that wrong. It feels so difficult to say in one. Anyway, what you wanna do is you wanna go to custom CSS class and add the class nav bar, okay? Without the dot. So here where it says nav bar, you literally just wanna copy that into where it says custom CSS. And we are going to save that. Now I'm just going to clock out of the other pages so just so I don't get confused. So here's my site. If I refresh this now, what you will notice is that it will now stick to the top. Okay, and the reason why I've put this wrapper in the middle is because I wanted to show you that it can be your navigation can be anywhere on the page, and as soon as it gets near to the top, that's when it will stick. Okay, so this is a truly uh, sticky nav right now, but it's not really doing everything that I wanted to do. I still feel like it's taking up a little bit too much space on the top. Ideally, I want the image to be smaller, and I probably want less of a gap between everything else and I want the background to be black as well so what I can do is go into the design editor and here is where we're going to make some really significant changes now if you understand anything about jQuery I absolutely don't understand anything about jQuery I've actually just learned a few things today but what happens is if we go back to the site what happens with this plugin or any kind of jQuery that you use um, in regards to this type of functionality is that when the website gets scrolled down, what jQuery does is it adds an extra class to 
the wrapper or to whatever you want to be stuck it adds an extra class to it and that class gives it the extra styling i.e stick to the top duh, 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 right so what i want to do is i want to manipulate the class that this jquery has given to my wrapper and the class that it's given is called cloned okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to open up my live css um, bar here i'm going to scroll the website down a bit so then we can activate that cloned uh, uh, attribute or target and i'm going to uh, type in the class cloned okay and I'm going to start, let me just make this a little bit wider here so then you'll be able to see. Um, not wider, let me just zoom in a bit so you'll be able to see. So here I've got cloned, okay? So immediately I'm gonna change the background color so then you know what we're doing here. Background color, black. And I'm gonna add the important tag. Okay, immediately you can see that the background has now changed to black. But if I scroll this back to the top, it goes back to purple or pink, whatever you want to call it. Yeah? It's more of a purple colour. Okay, so now let's try and mess around with some other settings in here. For instance, this image. This image, um, again, is in its own class. It's called an IMG, right? Most images are IMG. So what I want to do is I want to attack all of the images within the cloned tag. So I type in dot cloned here and then I type in image and I'm going to now say I want the width of this image to be 40%. And as you could see the image has gotten smaller. I can make that even smaller by saying 20%. I think 20% is perfect to be honest and if I scroll up you can see the image just bounces back to its original size see nice one what about this navigation now this particular navigation has a margin on the top of um, I think it's 25 pixels yeah it is so I'm just going to close out of this box now and I've right clicked on navigation not the navigation menu items on the actual navigation itself and I'm going to click here where it says edit in live CSS and where it's got the ID I'm actually going to go before that and put in a class called cloned again okay and here I'm going to put the margin as zero I'm going to put that as important now as I scroll down you could see the margin of that navigation has just literally disappeared now it's there and now it's gone it's there and now it's gone okay there's no margin on there whatsoever okay so now we need to make sure that this wrapper is going to be the same height as the rest of the field. So let me just save that first of all, have a look at this in the browser. So let's refresh and let's bring this to the top. And as you can see, everything has gotten smaller. We can of course make the, 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 the font smaller as well. In fact, let's go and do that now. So we click on the menu items here, edit these menu items, click on edit in live CSS, Put the cloned dot cloned for it and we'll say font size for 12 pixels yeah that's cool okay so as you can see this wrapper itself is just too big right so we need to make the wrapper smaller and again we can do that just by typing in where it says cloned at the top here you want to give this a height of let's say 50 pixels maybe a little bit bigger than that maybe 60 and that will house everything and with this image we could bring this image down a little bit so let's do it a margin top of five pixels okay and just to 
mess with your mind even more. I'm going to add a, a font family, open sans. Obviously you wouldn't do this, you wouldn't have a different font family. Um, but this is just to show you, I guess, what you can do. Um, let's take that out. Um, make that maybe about 10. And letter spacing, one pixel. Save. So now let's go back to our site. Uh, let me just take the zoom out so then the logo doesn't look so pixelated. So here we have our amazing navigation and as we scroll up it goes into a much smaller navigation and we have um, we have a different font, we have a different size and everything for our website. So that is really it for this tutorial. I hope that um, it helps for you and your projects. Um, if you've got any more questions, leave a comment below and I will see if I can make a video for you. All right, see you later. Bye.